this feels like maybe a hundred pounds. <laughs> Welcome back to another Fish Tales episode. Today I am out in the Milwaukee River just a few miles from downtown. Although you can't see it, it's just over those trees. Believe me, downtown Milwaukee, out there. I am uh, gonna be working the river here, just some holes up and down for uh, some early May smallmouth bass. So looking forward to catching them. And I'm just gonna use one lure today. So it'll be the one lure challenge, which of course I enjoy using that Ned rig. Uh, lakes, rivers, you name it. It's, uh, it's a go-to bait for me, so. Ned Rig and Smallies, we'll see what else we catch today. Good forward to catching a bunch of fish. Let's go get them. Casting this upstream right now, kind of bouncing along the bottom, trying to keep it pretty low in this dark, muddy water today with a little Ned Rig. Not reeling it much faster than the current's going, but just keeping it bouncing, making it look like it's just not a piece of debris, but something lifelike and tasty for a fish to gobble up as it's sitting here waiting for something to, to come downstream. Fishing over there earlier, got a couple small ones, now I moved over to the other side of the river. And we got a sign for some sturgeon, not what we're after today. Let's see if we can get something here. Here we go. What is on this side of the river? There's a bite. Here we go. Oh, we got a little smally. Little smally. All right, there's fish in the area. And when there's one, I think there's more. This water's so muddy and dirty, but if I can keep this low and slow on the bottom of this river, they're definitely eating as this water temperature is slowly warming up in early May. So I'm just gonna keep it kind of sitting on the bottom. Nice little drop off here, pop it once, bring their attention to it. Oh man, that's not what I was going for. Big snapping turtle, I was like, that doesn't feel like a log, it felt like it was fighting a little bit. With the speed of the current today, I'm using a quarter ounce mushroom head to keep this thing bouncing off the bottom and get it down, even in the pools, there's enough back current that's washing the bait. Here we go. This is feeling a little better. There we go. All right, Smalley, not the big, big, big boy, but you know, I can lip him. Makes it for a nice Smalley. Just gave it a nice thump right out of that current. Here's your daddy home. How about your granddaddy? Let's find him. Here we go. Oh, I'm in the tree. I'm in the tree. Come on. All right, got him out. All right, smallies. I know we're in this size. Did I catch you already? You got a little rip in your lip. I know there's more of you, but how about the bigger ones? I feel if I weed through enough of these generation one and two smallies, there's just big ones waiting to eat. Okay, <laughs> I think you're the same size. Maybe an inch smaller. Okay, that's a good size perch, not even. It's an average. Oh wow, there's a bigger one. Is this a rock bass? Look at that. 
Now that rock bass is twice the size of these smallmouth. And he liked the Ned Rig too. Nice belly on that, jeez. Probably getting ready to spawn, I don't know. All right, rock bass. Here we go. Tighten this drag, ooh yeah. This is the best one yet, right here. Finally, got a bigger fish. Let's land him now. I knew this was a good spot. Let's get him in here. Oh yeah. Sweet. There is a smallie. Here he is, nice urban Milwaukee River smallie, nice and dark, big boy. They definitely get bigger in here, but uh, can't complain about that. Here we go. Boy, you hit that thing fast. And not quite as big, but super, super hyper. Good fighting smallie. Ah, oh, got it. Here we go. Oh, okay. Another big fat rock bass. Right after I fell in the water getting this thing unhooked. Big fat rock bass. There he goes. There's another. Pretty fat rock bass, not too long, but they love this bank, I tell ya. And Ned rigs. All right, we'd have a huge meal of rock bass if we were keeping them, but we're not. Oh, here we go. This is better. Dang it, oh! This is kind of a rush hook set, and yep. Yeah. Let's try right in front of my feet. Right down on this bank. Here, this bite. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> Man, I knew it. He's sitting right there. Oh, that's a good 14, 15 incher just hopped off my hook. Oh, oh there we go. Got him. Oh, I saw him hit right off shore. That was cool. That was awesome. He really smacked that super fast. You can do it. You got it. Oh, here we go. These are the darkest smallies. Look at that thing. <laughs> Jeez. Look at how dark that is. It's almost black. Wow. Look at that dark smallie. Okay. Here we go. Oh, that's better fish. Here we go. Same Ned rig, but different fish. And there he is. Big bass right below me. Big one just sitting in there. Let's see if he goes for it. There he is. Got him. Oh, that was cool. Boy, is that a largemouth? What is that? I think he's a smallmouth. Sweet. There we go. That was cool sight fishing for him. Let's get him back in. Ooh, here we go. There we go. Oh, that was a brook trout. Darn it. Oh, man. Oh, 
What do we got here? What do we got? Oh, another brook trout. Look at that. Look at that. Didn't wet my hands here, but beautiful. Let's get it down the water here. Beautiful Milwaukee River brook trout. Minutes away from downtown Milwaukee. So cool. This section's got some super fast water, a lot of ripples and rapids here. And so these fish are just gonna find some spots in this section where they can just hang out just out of the fast current. So I like this little strip right along here. Here we go. This is feeling better. I haven't seen them completely yet, but yeah. Dark, dark, smally, that's for sure. Come on in. Still not the lunker size we're going for, but hit that right in that pool in the middle between all these little runs. Definitely gets a little deeper in there. Bye bye, dark looking a smally. Wow, I'm thinking that was a sturgeon right there. Wow, something little splashed here and boom, that thing had to be 50 pounds or more. And I don't think he wants a Ned rig. Jeez. I might have just accidentally snagged him. Yeah. This feels like maybe a hundred pounds. <laughs> I don't think if this is a sturgeon, I don't think oh he got off, yeah. Yeah, I don't think a hundred pound spawning sturgeon's gonna hit a Ned rig. That's not likely. Well, that was a fast hit, but not, I don't know how big he is, but not bad. Man, he hit that thing within two seconds of a hit in the water. Just hammered that. How about by that log? Right in between that rock. Here we go. There it is right by that log. That looked too good of a spot. Come on over. <laughs> He's got some fight in him. A little better fish. Right between that rock and log, I just thought, looked too good and did not try it. Ooh, big sturgeon right there. Look at that. There it is, right there. Yep, awesome. Lake Michigan sturgeon coming up to spawn. There's a bite, here we go. Oh, is that a, another brook trout? Wow. Here, I couldn't tell if it was another bass the same size as the thousands I've been catching, but this is another pretty, I mean, they're all pretty. How, how are they not? And there you go. Here we go. And... We got ourselves another Milwaukee River brook trout. Ned rig, not the way I'd go at it normally, but 
They're biting them. And there you go. Even though I'm catching brook trout right in this spot, there's gotta be some bass, some big guys sitting in here. Even if the mamas are spawning, these males might be hungry a little bit. Come on. Nice little hole right here. Plenty of current coming through. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about right here. Oh, nice bass. Nice one. He hit just like those brook trout. I knew there'd be a big guy in that pool. Oh, let's get him before he gets to that fast current. Oh, yeah. There's a nice smallie. Come here. Got him. Okay. There's a big boy. Nice big fat smallie. And that's what we're after. Hope we'll give him a good release.